Now you have your bean subscription, you have freshly roasted coffee, just like the best cafes use, and all you need to do is get it dialed in. I'm Michael, a UK coffee tasting champion and world coffee tasting finalist, and I'm here to help you dial in your next coffee. Coffee can feel at times like you're in Alice in Wonderland, falling down the rabbit hole, with a seemingly endless well of knowledge to understand and know. Hopefully, with this video, you'll feel more comfortable taking those first steps into learning the foundations of great espresso. Let's dial in the block by Redemption on Barista Touch. Now, assuming you have placed the single wall double shot basket in the portafilter, and you've also chosen to extract a double espresso with both at the same starting point for dialing in your coffee. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up to brew along. At a minimum, grab a dry towel. This coffee is the classic full-bodied house espresso blend that has notes of milk chocolate, caramel, and hazelnut, with a little dried fruit sweetness reminiscent of raisins. For this coffee, we're landing on grind setting 11. Yours may be different, and that's okay. Grab your porter filter and wipe it out with a clean, dry microfiber cloth. Insert the dosing funnel on the porter filter with a small click. This is going to keep all the coffee in the basket while you're grinding. While this happens, I'm going to purge the group head to remove any residual coffee and refresh the hot water. Press and purge. My starting brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee. We're going for around 25 to 30 seconds of brew time, resulting in just under 60 mils or grams of espresso in the cup. It's going to look like there's a lot of coffee in the basket but that's why we left the dosing funnel on to settle the coffee bed without making a mess. Remove the dosing funnel and pick up your coffee tamp. Align your wrist and elbow in a straight line as best you can and press into the bed until the porter filter stops moving or pushes back at you. Wipe off any excess coffee around the rim of the basket to ensure you have a watertight seal. Let's check out the dose with the razor tool. Come over to your knot box and just give the razor a little twist in a circular motion on the surface of the bed and ensure that any of the excess coffee is removed. Insert the porter filter into the group head. Press the double shot button and grab your favorite cup. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the eight to 10 second mark. This is because we have pre-infusion. This starts the water at lower pressure to evenly distribute the water throughout the coffee grounds and prevent uneven extraction. This will result in a slow saturation of the coffee bed and a full extraction of the sugars, acids, amigas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. If your shot is extracted correctly, it will stop running after 25 to 32 seconds of contact time. Okay, let's give the coffee a swirl. Not only does this look fantastic, it allows the layers of espresso extraction to combine for a balanced, delicious and well-extracted drink. Did your espresso look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is either to slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step, we can always adjust it back. If the water is too fast, the coffee may be sour. This is called under extraction. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. This is called over extraction. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. And you'll know exactly what you did and more importantly, why you did it. Explore all our curated specialty coffees at beans.com by Sage.